As we know, every living thing in this world needs other living things to survive, especially for animal species. For animal species themselves, requiring other animals is a natural selection that they must do to survive in their habitat. In other words, stronger animals will prey on weak animals and this is also called the food chain sequence. Some scientists often research animals and one of them is the animals that are hunting their prey. Many predators have a unique way of capturing and subduing their prey. Of the various ways that animals hunt their prey, some of them will amaze us because the way they do it is very unique and just downright extraordinary. Here is a list of a unique way about animals catch their prey. Eagle Catching Shark Recently, a video showing an eagle carrying a shark flying over the beach went viral on social media and became the talk of netizens. In the video, you can see that the shark is still trying to escape even though it is already above height. The video turned out to be from a tourist named Ashley White who recorded the moment. Some netizens also responded to the tweet and called the bird an osprey or oyster eagle which is known to migrate to America. The oyster eagle can swoop from a height of 10 to 40 meters to sea level to catch its prey. So don't be surprised if the bird looks able to catch a shark at its feet and fly very high. Also, netizens tried to prove that the bird was indeed an osprey and they uploaded a photo of the moment when the oyster eagle was capturing its prey very clearly. The Snake Pounced the Crocode in 2019, a non-profit organization called GG Wildlife Rescue Incorporated, which originated from Australia, showed a python-type Liasis olivaceus was killing a reptile that was bigger than its own body. The image was taken near Mount Isa in Queensland by a man named Martin Mueller and then published on social media. Crocodilus johnstoni, or commonly referred to as the Australian freshwater crocodile, has become a victim of the ambition of eating from a snake, also known as the olive python. This species of python is endemic to the land of kangaroos and can grow up to 4 meters in length. As it is known that snakes have extraordinary swallowing abilities thanks to their elastic jaws as well as pythons. The jawbone of the python is divided into two parts and connected by elastic ligaments. When a python has a calm prey target, the snake will first walk on it and this process is known as pterygoid. Furthermore, the python will try to swallow its prey whole by pressing on its muscles. Also, pythons have several genetic adaptations that can help them digest large meals. In 2013, a study published in a study found that Burmese pythons rapidly change their body's metabolism after eating. This will have an impact on increasing the size of their internal organs, including the intestines, pancreas, heart, and kidneys to handle the influx of these extraordinary calories. Tarantula Pounces Bird some time ago, a zoo named Wellington Zoo recently announced that it has succeeded in hatching the largest tarantula in the world. The predator, known as the Goliath Bird Eater, has a massive size and is capable of eating a Goliath bird. At its maximum size, the Thera fossa blondi or Goliath Bird Eater is one of the largest tarantulas in the world. This animal occupies the second position in terms of body span as the largest tarantula in the world. But in terms of body mass, Thera fossa blondi occupies the top position as the largest tarantula in the world. At its maximum size, this animal has a leg span of about 30 centimeters and weighing in at 170 grams, which can make it the size of an adult dinner plate. If you look at the name, you might think that these animals have a favorite food in the form of birds. However, it turns out that Thera fossa blondi or Goliath bird eater only occasionally eats birds and most of these animals will eat large anthropods, worms and amphibians. In addition, these animals have been recorded eating mice, frogs, lizards and even snakes. According to several studies, 
female goliath bird eater species can live for 15 to 25 years, while male species will die immediately after reaching adulthood. Wasp Eating Tarantula Tarantula is the name given by humans for a type of spider that is large and hairy. Because of its scary appearance, many people are afraid of these spiders. However, it is known that the animal, which is one of the main enemies of tarantulas, is a kind of wasp. The fact is, there are wasps like that that are alive and especially for hunting tarantula spiders. The wasp referred to here as a tarantula wasp or often referred to as a tarantula hawk or tarantula hawk. It is known that several species of wasps can be referred to as tarantula wasps, where the species is divided into two genera, namely the genus Pepsis and the genus Hemipepsis. Physically, tarantula wasps are no different from wasps in general. The main physical features that distinguishes them from other wasps are their jet black body, yellowish wings, and size that can reach more than 5 centimeters, making them one of the largest wasp species known to humans. The spread of tarantula wasps is fairly wide, where they can be found in Southeast Asia, Africa, Australia, and America, where most of the identified species are found in North America. Grasshopper Predator Recently, a study conducted by zoologists revealed that praying mantises have been documented to kill birds and eat the brains of their prey. However, this globally visible behavior only occurs naturally in praying mantises. According to the researchers, the praying mantis does occasionally prey on small vertebrate animals, including frogs, lizards, and snakes, although these animals usually feed on other insects. But in one study, researchers saw that bird brain eating was also commonplace for these insects. One study leader named Martin Nefeller said that the thing about praying mantis eating birds is widespread both taxonomically and geographically and this is a very spectacular finding. Also, they found that the phenomenon was documented in 13 countries and on all continents except Antarctica. The praying mantis itself was recorded to prey on 24 different bird species. In all, the researchers found 147 cases of this behavior. Most of the records involved attacks on hummingbirds. Based on more than one observation, the actions of such attacks are quite gruesome, especially since praying mantises have been known to eat their prey alive. It sounds terrible, I know, but the behavior seen globally is just a natural behavior that occurs in praying mantises. Giant Centipede Pounces a Snake in 2017, a team of biologists in Thailand reported a phenomenon that was acquired by chance. This phenomenon shows a snake seems to be fighting with a giant centipede. However, the snake looked like a wrong target. However, the snake looked like a wrong strategy, causing its body to be crushed by the giant centipede. According to some reports, the giant centipede was found to have wrapped around the snake's body and was slowly swallowing it. Also, to keep the opponent under his control, the giant centipede grabbed the snake's body and stabbed it with venomous claws known as forcipules, which are special binding weapons that only a centipede has. The team of biologists in this regard took no steps to stop the fighting. However, they only took a lot of photos, which helped the research team to identify the type of giant centipede. After observing it for a while, the team of experts determined that the giant centipede was Colopendra dewidofi, a large aggressive species of centipedes commonly found in Southeast Asia. Meanwhile, the snake was identified as a type of black triangle head or Sibinophis triangularis. Worms Eat Stone Recently, researchers managed to find a peculiarity in a worm that has the Latin name Lithoredo abatanica, and this uniqueness shows that this animal was eating a stone. However, the ones who discovered this worm does not know what nutrients can be taken from the stone he ate. 
Also, the discoverers do not know what bacteria are present in their intestines so that it can help release nutrients and break down the stones. According to the researchers, the appearance of this animal is different from other worms in general. Lithoredo abatanica is fatter and somewhat transparent and it is known that the worm is a type of shipworm. It is known that shipworms eat ship wood. It is also well known that wood on a ship is very difficult to eat. However, these worms have small sharp teeth so they can make holes in the wood. Then they store and digest the wood in their intestines. Unlike Lithoredo abatanica, this one worm eats stones but with a process similar to shipworms. Initially, Shipwe and his team were surprised to hear stories from people in Bohol, Philippines that there were worms that could eat a rock. Also, residents called these animals as earring saw. These worms are used by the community as food because they are considered good for breastfeeding mothers. Archer Fish some time ago, researchers from the University of Milan in Italy managed to solve a mystery about the ability of the archerfish, which has the scientific name Toxotes jaculatrix, to shoot or hunt its prey. In a report, it was explained that the archerfish were able to shoot water as fast as a jet accurately from a considerable distance, which is 2 meters. Amazingly, the water shot was able to knock down insects hanging from a tree branch. After the prey falls, this archer fish will then immediately eat it. Also, a study revealed that the fish's movements were recorded using high-definition video to record very fast movements of these fish. One member of the research team, named Professor Alberto Velati, described the process of spraying gun from the fish's mouth similar to the mechanism of a water gun. This powerful spray of water is produced when the fish presses its tongue against the curve of its mouth. This forms a very narrow and sharp formation so that the fish can propel the water straight towards its prey. The water emitted by the fish is said to be stronger than six times the muscle strength of the fish itself.